Today's video is brought to you by URCD Keys, the best source for Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys at deeply discounted prices. More details at the end of the video. Phantos comes in with a question regarding AMD CPU upgrades and whether or not they are a deal. And it reads, would it be worth upgrading to a 5800X or a 5900X in two to three years if the price was right from a 3900X or wait for a generation uh, after the socket change? Okay, now I was kind of on board at first until I heard 3900X and then I hit the brakes of the truck and went, hold on a second. Wait, what? Okay, I wanna answer this in two parts. Okay, two parts, right. We may have many people watching this right now. Phantos, we love you. Setting you aside for a minute. Let's say somebody is watching us and they have a Ryzen 7 2700X, maybe a, a second generation Ryzen Zen Plus, or maybe they have a Ryzen 3 3100 or 3600 four or six core chip and they currently have an AMD system and they're happy with it. They're not needing to play cyberpunk in the latest games. They're willing to stay a little bit behind. They want best value for the money. And somebody watching who has maybe a six core Ryzen right now mm -hmm. and is okay to keep that six core Ryzen for the next two plus years, and then they'll upgrade. They're not looking to upgrade right now. They're happy. Maybe they've got a 2060 or an RX 5600 XT and they're not gonna change it for a couple years because they're getting deals on games, they're playing games that are two or three years old, and honestly, it's fine. You don't need a new computer if you're playing one, two, three-year-old games and you don't play games the minute they launch. A lot of money to be saved doing that. Wait for a year, wait for the Game of the Year edition, wait for the Gold Deluxe edition with all the season pass and DLC rolled in, wait for it to be 50% off, all the optimizations and bug fixes are out, the drivers are up to date, Correct. you buy the game for less, you get more content for your money, and you can run it on cheaper hardware. That, that's a deal. That is a deal. Okay, so to those people, waiting two or three years for used Ryzen 9s, Maybe even a Ryzen 7 5800X. I'm down on it now because of the price. But if the price is cheap in the future, if two or three years from now, you can get a Ryzen 7 5800X for under $200 mm -hmm. or a Ryzen 9 5900X, 12 core, 24 thread processor, and you can go from a Ryzen 5 3600 Zen 2 to a Ryzen 9 5600X Zen 3, double the cores, more clock speed, more instructions per clock cycle, and in two or three years, you can get it for say, 250-ish dollars? The 5600 or 59? I said, what did I say? You said 59 first and then you said 56. So I'm just, are you wanting to go to the 59? Nobody should buy a 5600X, they're stupid. That's why I asked the question. Ryzen 5 3600 to a 5900X. Ryzen 9 5900X. That makes sense. And if that's your strategy, if you're watching this right now thinking, I want to upgrade in the future when they are available. AM5 has come out. Zen 4 and Zen 5 have come out. DDR5, PCI Express Gen 5 and Gen 6 are coming. But you want to keep your current system and make that upgrade. That is a reasonable plan. I'm on board with that plan. I understand that plan. In fact, I think a lot of people probably should do that plan because that gives you huge value for the money. Keeping up with the Joneses, keeping up with the latest and greatest is very expensive to do. And not everybody has that kind of money. Correct. So great. Here's where I went, step on the brakes of that truck. Here's part two. <laughs> Phantos already owns a Ryzen 9 chip. He has a Ryzen 9 3900X. Upgrading from a Ryzen 9 3900X to a Ryzen 9 5900X is not and will not blow your skirt up. You will not be impressed. It's faster when you run benchmarks. It's a little bit snappier. It's a little bit nicer. That is a minor upgrade. It's an improvement. But whether you do it now or two or three years from now, it's never going to give you a performance improvement that makes you go, yeah, that was worth taking my computer apart and changing up processors. If you were going to do it, do it now. Yes. Now. But that answers the question. There's no, it, I'm not done yet. Oh, but wait, there's more. People who own Ryzen 5 3600s generally tend to be, assuming they were informed when they made their choice, 
budget-oriented users, which is fine, who want max value for the money, modest game-playing performance, not epic multitasking with three monitors and tons of stuff running, and they're willing to run a bit behind and wait for games to be on sale, wait for the Game of the Year editions to come out, and they're willing to play their back catalog rather than pre-ordering Cyberpunk the minute it's available for pre-order because they must play every new game the instant it comes out. That's fine. But somebody who currently owns a Ryzen 9 is probably that not person. If you are a Ryzen 9 owner, if you are an i9 owner, you're, you're wanting the experience. You're going to want to upgrade to Zen 4 or Zen 5. You will want to be on AM5. You're going to want the new platform. For whatever you think, I'll just upgrade my chip one generation. Now, you're going to want to be on the new thing. If you're a premium buyer, you're a premium buyer. And you're not going to become a non-premium buyer just because there's this one little opportunity to almost kind of sort of have a deal. But it's a good deal. No, it's not. Not for somebody who owns a Ryzen 9 3900X now. Because you're going to want a 16 or 24 core chip. And I'm sure right now in 2021 that sounds absurd. It's not. It isn't. 24 and 32 thread consumer chips are coming in the next two to three years. See, he said two to three years from exactly. now. Exactly. In two to three years, Intel will probably have a 24 core chip and AMD will, uh, you know, <laughs> I only have my Magic 8 ball to work with here. AMD is going to have a 32 core consumer chip, not Threadripper, AM5. And a 5900X is 12. 12. Why would you do that? So this is a bad plan for you, but it's a great plan for the six core owners out there. I agree. And that's what I have to say about that. URCD Keys is the best source for genuine Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys that work the first time, every time. Get 20% off normal prices using our discount code BST for Bite Size Tech and the link in the video description below. $15 gets you a Windows 10 professional OEM key that is a real product key, activates directly with Microsoft, use it forever as it links to your Microsoft account and it works through reinstalls. Get a full copy of Office 2019 Professional Plus for about $50 that redeems at setup.office.com using your Microsoft account. It also works forever through reinstalls. We have been using URCD keys for almost three years now and recommend you do so as well.